What's up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and we are going to be opening up some new product. It is not going to be this Eternatus V Max. We're going to be cracking this open tomorrow on a stream. Um, be sure to check it out, 7 p.m. EST. Today we're going to open up the new tins, which we still have an Eternatus, but just the regular Eternatus V. We got an Eevee and a Pikachu V tin. So we're going to open all three of them. I believe they come with five packs each, so total of 15, a good amount of packs to crack open. And we'll kind of talk about this product, what our thoughts are, and I don't have a <laughs> my knife, but we can just rip this open. So, yeah, you know, what? I feel like since tag teams, like when these tins kind of first came out with the promo and the five packs, uh, where they kind of MSRP for what twenty five dollars, uh, I feel like the promos have kind of fallen a little bit in quality. Each one of these is not bad, but obviously it pales in comparison to that uh, premium collection. By the way. We're offering that for breaks for patrons for the nice low price of $25. So if you're not familiar with our Patreon program, check out the link below. And all right, let's see what the pack selection is. We got two Dark Displays, typical. Uh, Rebel Clash, ah, not too much to find in Rebel Clash anymore. Sun and Moon Base, we're not too excited. And we still have XY, so um, not the best pack selection. And But we do have some promos. Take a look at the promo. Pretty uh pretty well centered. So and we'll just get all three open and then we'll get into the opening and we'll probably just fast forward this part, be right back. Alright, so we got everything open. Let's take a look at the Pikachu Pro. So these promos are not too crazy. I feel like these are just typical. Uh, hey, we'll make an Eevee promo and a Pikachu one. We can put it in a product and see how well it sells. Uh, let's see. This one, it feels like it's a little off-centered. Pika Bolt 30 Circle Circuit 30X for all the bench Pokemon. Eh. And then Eevee Collect, draw three cards. And Brave Buddies use Supporter plus 80 for a total of 160, but it's colorless. So none of these sound too crazy. Again, I feel like... Uh, back when the tag teams, I'm thinking like the the Mewtwo Mew premium, the Pikaram one, those are much better value as far as these tins go. But uh, all right, let's start with Fates Collide. <coughs> Excuse me. Start with Fates Collide. Open the three of them and then move on to Sun and Moon. We'll go pretty quick with these. But one last mention about the Patreon. So. We uh, next month or towards the end of September will be. What am I doing here? No, I think it's three. And look, I feel like these cards are not in the best shape. A bent spoon to start this opening. We'll be offering the Champions Path ETBs at forty dollars a pop. So a great value there. Ultra Ball Reverse, not bad. Hey, we do have a hit, a Mega Audino EX. Let's take a look. Yeah, I feel like there's a bit of a nick on the corner, on the, and it's pretty off center as well. But we will take it. Move on to our next Fates Collide. To be honest, I don't even know what's in Fates Collide as far as what the best card we can pull is. So, as of right now, none of the vendors which I purchased the Champions Path ETBs from have reported any issues. So, as of right now, we should be able to offer that at $40 a pop. It's a really good value. Alright. So XY is kind of interesting. There are still some products coming out. I'm sure put this up here. Primarily the the new Kanto Power Box, which I think comes out. I don't know. It's not coming out for a while. Pre-orders just kind of went up very recently, and it co just comes with ten evolutions packs of all things. It's like I feel like this thing was supposed to release be released a long time ago, but it is an interesting situation where. I think Evolution's booster boxes, I believe, are out of print, according to a uh, single vendor. And so the booster boxes are actually going for kind of like more than $100. But then this product is actually not bad value where you, for, I think I got them, I'm going to be offering them, so is it 25 But whatever it is, like, when you compare to the price per pack, compared to like the booster box, it's actually pretty good. The energy evolution Eevee. So this is Sunny Moon Base. I believe this is where you can get the Ultra Ball. That would be pretty cool. Pokeball. <laughs> I don't really want to. Hey, a Lily. 
uh, not really used anymore, but um, pretty cool card. Definitely happy to pick up this full art. I feel like the centering is kind of like rotated, so I'm not sure if we could get this graded. But other than that, it looks very nice. We'll put you in a penny sleeve. So very happy with this hit. Maybe like a year ago, I would have been really, really stoked. All right, let's see. We still got a couple more Sun and Moon. So we got a regular or a EX hit, Mega EX hit, as well as a Full Art Supporter. And didn't even get to the Darkness of Blaze yet. Rebel Clash, I suppose we're kind of just looking for some Full Art bosses. And no longer the regular, the Hollow Boss is not something we need anymore. Thanks to that Trainer's Toolkit. Still think that's the best product. Sealed product made ever made for competitive players that I'm aware of. Nothing there. Alright, last Sun and Moon base. But the Eternatus, that premium box, I think the pack selections is a little bit better. Comes with six packs and a Burning Shadows hidden back there, which is kind of nice. I think it's Evolutions instead of Fates Collide. Alright, so to wrap up Sun and Moon base, we got a bunch of Snubbles. And then just a sand castle. All right, let's go to the Rebel Clash. Kind of, uh, you know, the set has not aged very well, and it's still very young. In fact, I, yeah, I definitely enjoy opening Sword and Shield base more at this point. Uh, those Intellians are actually really strong right now. The Secret Rare Quick Ball, still working on my playset. Getting pretty close to being done though. Let's see, definitely I feel like this is just going for boss, full art bosses. Got an Aerocuda into a Cooper Raja. All right, we got something. I feel like this is going to be a little off center. Actually, the back looks pretty good. So I suppose, eh, what's this up here? It might be a kind of a nick up here. So we'll just grab a regular sleeve for you. Yeah, so in addition to very well priced breaks on our for our patrons, I do offer some PSA grading services and submitting a huge pile of cards this month. So patrons, uh, definitely let me know ASAP if you plan on sending something in so I know to wait for it. All right, let's see. What else is going on in the world of Pokemon? The Champion's Path out later this month. Again, ETB's 40 bucks for our patrons. And it will be interesting because that same day, that same Friday where Champion's Path is released, uh, I've imagined in the beginning everyone's just going to want to crack open, assuming the Rainbow Rare Charizard's in there, but that's also the day that the Hidden Fates reprint tins also hit the shelves. It will be interesting to see which one is more popular. And oh, if you have a look at Walmart, make sure you stop by. There have been many reports of those Walmart exclusive boxes. So that's the one instead of like the, the tin, you get a jumbo card, which I've actually never opened. So I don't, I don't really have a strong desire to have those jumbos, but I guess it is unique to that Walmart product. So if I could pick them up, I would. So check out your local Walmart if you have not already. And usually people report like a ton of just like fresh, freshly stocked shelves it look like, including those hidden fates boxes. All right, but yeah, we are on to Darkness Ablaze. So, so far out of 15 packs, what do we got? Um, three not bad hits. So that could actually be a final ratio, which wouldn't be that surprising. Uh, of course, there's a lot of good stuff to hit in here. Salamans V, there we go, four hits, 15 packs is not too shabby. Uh, I feel like once again, if you kind of look at this, the margins, they feel like they're properly spaced, but then the picture or whatever is rotated ever so slightly. Salamans can't say this is super eager to get this graded, but we'll put this in here just in case. All right, we got four packs remaining. Yeah, make sure you uh, tune into our stream. We stream on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, we'll probably do a couple giveaways because I did miss or you had to cancel a live stream this week. So we'll do some uh, digital pack giveaways. So if you do play the online game, uh, not only should you attend, 
probably be a little bit better to attend on Twitch, twitch.tv slash I want a turtle to make sure you can enter the marble giveaways. All right, three packs remaining. So I do feel like this set was a pretty good set uh, and prices for the singles actually are not too bad. I've been meaning to do a Pokemart, maybe we'll get to it over the weekend, but I imagine it has a lot to do with it. There's no live events, so not, I imagine that would heavily impact just demand for these new cards, especially the playable ones. At a collector level, obviously we do have the Charizard, which we did pull one during one of our live streams. And you know, you got some cool stuff like Eternatus, like Rainbow Eternatus and stuff, but uh, yeah, the, they do have the promo versions, which will crack tomorrow. Pansier into just a muck. This art looks like this muck is, looks like he's just, uh, I don't know, just needs a hand getting out of this pit or something. All right, final pack for, I would say, a pretty good opening. Uh, really happy with that Lily. Can we get one more hit? Actually, if we were to get a hit, to have one hit out of every three packs would be pretty good. Versus, I basically, I guess we're at four at this point. Ariados. All right, for the last pack, we have a Grimer Reverse. And as always, guys, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Just say Volcarona. That's going to be it for us today. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.